Walking through, it's clear why it's called a wet market. There's live fish in open tubs, chicken wings on ice, and plastic boots on slick floors. Here at Hong Kong's Graham Street Market, I meet student Alex Chang. Since he was a young boy, he shopped here once a week with his family. The meat and the fish is more fresh, and the vegetable is more fresh as well, because it's cheaper. A wet market is a term commonly used across Asia to describe places like this. Markets that sell fresh produce, fish, and meat. They are very popular across the region and in China. The initial outbreak of the novel coronavirus has been linked to a market in Wuhan. CNN is not able to independently verify these graphic images from inside the Wuhan market. Taken in early December, they show a disturbing array of wild animals ready for sale and slaughter before the market shut down. When wild animals are kept in close proximity and unsanitary conditions, experts say there is a high risk of viruses spreading between animals and humans. Because these animals, we don't know their history. We don't know what kind of pathogens or viruses that they are having in uh, their body. As the pandemic slows down in mainland China, its wet markets are opening back up, sparking outrage online. Several petitions have attracted tens of thousands of signatures, and this from Australia's Prime Minister, who slammed the World Health Organization for supporting the reopening of China's wet markets. I think that's unfathomable, frankly. Mm. We need to protect the world against potential sources of, of outbreaks of, of, of these types of viruses. And uh, look, it's happened too many times. I'm, I'm totally puzzled by this decision. In a statement, the WHO says all sectors affected by COVID-19, including food markets in China and around the world, need to ensure high standards of cleanliness, hygiene and safety once they are in a position to gradually resume normal activities. The vast majority of wet markets in Asia do not sell exotic wildlife, and attitudes are changing. At the market, I meet David Olson, director of conservation at the World Wildlife Fund. According to a new poll, he says there is overwhelming support for the closure of illegal wildlife markets across Asia. The message should be we need to end the wildlife trade, the sale of wildlife for consumption, for other purposes. These, these, this is what's creating situations where diseases can jump from wild species to, to humans. Olson says this is where the problem lies. And not here, a wet market where there are mandated cleaning regulations, regular inspections, and loyal customers who return again and again. Christy Lustout, CNN, Hong Kong.